It is really gloomy outside, it's really dark, and this is the normal time that I typically film at my house right here, so I don't know what's going on. Hopefully the lighting is alright for the video. I'll try and breeze through this so it's, you know, it doesn't get too dark. So this is going to be my favorites that I have absolutely fallen in love with for the month of November. So this first one, this is no surprise, this is the Vanilla Bean Noel body lotion from Bath & Body Works. It is so good. It is so amazing. I do have some you know, in my back stock already, but I feel like I should probably pick up two or three more just so I have them to last me until spring or summer. Um, I just can't ever seem to find these during the semi-annual sale at my stores around me, so this is probably hands down my favorite scent from Bath & Body Works out of their entire collection from anything they've ever released, ever. Um, next up is a blush that I picked up around my birthday. This is from the Holiday Collection from MAC. This is the Mineralized Blush in the shade Modest. And this is probably the easiest pink shade to wear on the cheeks if you're fair like I am. I'm about at NW10 during the winter, NW15, NW20, maybe. That's pushing it during the summertime. But this color is so pretty. Let me give you a little swatch. So that's it there. I mean, it's so easy to wear. You can't overdo it with this blush. There's a swatch of it on my hand. It's just amazing. Um, I looked at some of the other blushes that they have in the mineralized collection, but some of them have like sparkles, glitter. They're just not as perfect as this one. I do love this and I highly suggest this if you are pretty, you know, lightly complected. Next up is something that really surprised me. This is the Wet n Wild Matte Top Coat. And it's kind of hard to see, but this is like 99 cents at the drugstore. But the cool thing about it is if you have nail polish with like some different colored shimmer in it or just sparkle whatsoever, if you put this top coat over it, it kind of completely changes your nail polish into something entirely different. I really do love this top coat and it's really, it's been fun experimenting around trying to find different, you know, um, colors that the nail polish turns when it's not shiny and it's matte. It's so crazy, but I do love this stuff. I think anybody should go out and pick it up. It's only 99 cents and Wet Wild always goes on sale for like 40% off at CVS or Rite Aid, so this is really lovely. And then I traded in some of my little black pots like this. If you have, how many is it? Is it five? You trade them in and then they'll give you a free face mask. And so I did that around my birthday. This is the uh, Oda Fix Fresh Face Mask, and this is all finished up, but oh my goodness, this, this freaking face mask smells like banana oatmeal cookie dough. It is so good, and it's really moisturizing. I found that that's, you know, essentially the only benefit from this. I didn't see it do much of anything else, but it just felt really nice. It was very soothing, relaxing kind of just a way to unwind at the end of the night. So I really do love this. And I have picked up another, like a different face mask from them. I've never tried any of them before. So this was my first experience with them. And I really like the Odafix face mask. This next one, I've had this for a little bit, but I've just been, it seemed like I just used it like crazy during November. This is the La Mercier Caviar Stick and Amethyst. And that's it right there, pretty much full on, you know, no smudging or anything. You have about, I don't know, 15 or 20 seconds to smudge with these. I really like putting this in my crease area. So that's it smudged out and that's it just on its own. They're, they have a really nice high shine payoff with them. Um, I can wear these all over the lid just as an eyeshadow. I can wear it in the crease blended out. I can wear them underneath shadows as kind of a cream eyeshadow base. And I've also been loving putting this down. After I've completed my eyeshadow look, I'll run this over the top of my dry eyeshadows, right in the crease area and like underneath the bottom lash line. And it just leaves the most beautiful kind of taupey purple um, look to your eyeshadow and I just think it complements it really well. So this is lovely. I know there is a sale going on. If you are a VIB or a VIB Rouge member, you should have received something in the mail. 
It's uh, some sort of a coupon that'll give you either $20 or $25 off of your $50 purchase. So these are a really nice item to pick up during that sale. Another thing I would definitely recommend is the First Aid Beauty Eye Duty Triple Remedy uh, product right here. This is interesting. So this is quite similar to the Clinique one that I have where it's like a tinted formula and you just run it underneath your bottom like underneath your eyes right there and then you use the tip on here it comes with a metal tip and you use that to kind of go in little circles really gently and that de-puffs underneath your eye area and I've just been loving this one because it's more of a brightening shade than the Clinique one so that's it right there and you can see it's definitely got that brightening effect to it. It's like a pinky toned product. So I've, I've just been loving this. I'll mix it in with my concealer and then just blend my concealer and this product underneath my eyes and it just comes out fabulous. I love it. The only issue is when you take the cap off, you have to hold it up at the top to kind of push it because if you squeeze it, it will, um, squeeze out and get into the cap. I haven't had that issue too much yet, but you know, just a fair warning, it's like a squeezy tube, so you don't want it squeezing into the cap, but I love this stuff. It's really good and definitely pick this up when there's a sale. I know Derm Store frequently has 20% off, 30% off. Just sign up for their newsletter and they'll let you know this it, this does qualify for the 20 or 30% off. I think they might have something going on right now for like the Cyber Monday. They extended the sale. So this stuff is lovely. I think it's like 36, 32 or 36 dollars regularly. Definitely pick it up on sale. Then I have two drugstore items here. They're both by Suave. This I love this stuff. I have never had the issue where I put a leave-in treatment in my hair and it makes my hair too soft. I've never had that before, but this stuff does that. This is the Suave Professionals Natural Infusion. This is the ginger and honeysuckle scent. It's supposed to be salon proven to perform as well as Purology, which you guys know if you've been following my channel for a while. I love Purology products, but they are so flippin' expensive. This is their Strengthening Light Leave-In Cream. I... I can't, I don't even have words for this product. It is amazing. You put this in either um, damp hair right at the ends or you can put it in on dry hair and this stuff is phenomenal. I love it. It makes your hair so smooth and like I said, if I freshly wash my hair and then I put this in, I almost struggle to kind of, you know, give my hair any sort of texture because it just makes it so soft and ah, uh, it's, this stuff is a exceptional product. I highly recommend it. If you have not tried this, I think it's under $4 at the drugstore and there's always like a dollar, dollar fifty off coupon in the Red Plum. You can find their Suave coupons probably online even. So highly, highly recommend a product. If you're gonna purchase anything out of my suggestions here, I would say this would be the number one contender right there. The other one that I was really surprised with, I uh, I don't know, I, I haven't really had much luck with drugstore dry shampoos because I can't really blend the white cast out of my hair because I do have pretty dark hair. I mean, I dye it black. So this was a pretty big surprise for me. This is the Swab Professionals Dry Shampoo, the Refresh and Revive formula. This is the Color Care one though. I know they've had the Keratin dry shampoo out before, but if you get the Color Care, I feel like this just blends easier and it doesn't leave that white cast or that gray cast after you blend it in. I used this yesterday and I feel like my roots, they feel like I just washed my hair. So definitely recommend this stuff. This again, this is salon proven to refresh as well as the Bumble and Bumble dry shampoo. So, oh, this stuff is good and it smells delicious. This uh, says here, it absorbs oil and refreshes hair, leaving it smooth and manageable between washes. So definitely, if you're in the market for a new dry shampoo that is under $4, this is the Color Care dry shampoo. I think you could even use this as, you know, if you don't even color your hair. I think you could use this if you have dark hair. So just a suggestion on my part. Something else that I picked up at Lush the last time that I was in there. This is the 
popcorn scrub. I've heard a lot of people talk about their lip scrubs, but never, I don't think I've ever heard anybody talk about the popcorn one. I even asked the girl, I was like, well, is this a seasonal one? Because I've, I, you know, I've heard of the mint julep lip scrub. I've heard of the bubblegum one. I've had the bubblegum one in the past. I enjoyed that one a lot. The cool thing about this one, not only does this smell out of the world, it smells kind of similar to the Vanilla Bean Noel, in my opinion, but this, instead of just being a super sugary one, a super sugary lip scrub, so first off, let me tell you, if you have any dry patches and you like to wear lipstick, um, especially a matte formula on your lips for your lipstick, you need to get a lip scrub, either the e.l.f. one or this one is fantastic. This is the popcorn one. It's a sweet and salty. That's what puts this one, you know, it kind of separates it from the other ones. This is sweet and salty. It's a sugar and salt lip scrub. So it kind of, it's like that kettle corn popcorn. So if you like kettle corn popcorn, I'm not that big of a fan just because it's really crunchy and it's kind of hard on my teeth, but this stuff is a lovely substitute for it and it smells delicious. Oh, I just love this. I like to use this every time I'm applying a matte lipstick, I am I use this. So I don't, some people lick it off their lips after they scrub it around. <sighs> I'm not, I'm not saying you shouldn't do that. I just, I don't, I, I can't do that. I can't, <laughs> I can't lick off the dead skin after I scrubbed it off. So I just say, you know, get a little handful of water and just kind of wipe your lips with some running water and that'll remove this product from your lips. And the last, well, the last beauty related product, this came in my Ipsy bag. This is the Star Look Slip Gloss in, what was this, in Guilty Pleasures? I think it was. This is really nice. I would definitely purchase this in the full size. I know this was kind of a smaller sample, but this is like the absolute perfect easy pink shade to wear. It's kind of like the blush. You can't really overdo it with this lip gloss. It's an easy product to wear. It just goes with any look that you have. I just applied it to my lipstick that I had on and it's gorgeous. There is the swatch of it right there. I think it's easy. I think anybody would look lovely with this lip gloss. And then the last thing that I wanted to talk about, I know I kind of mentioned this in my throwback Tuesday, even though it's supposed to be a throwback Thursday, I uploaded it on the wrong day, but I mentioned these. I accidentally mistakenly called them leggings, but I wear these with my leggings. So I'll put on a pair of black leggings. Let me see if I can kind of show you. Let me see if I'm limber enough. So I have um, my boots on today, and then I have on like these multicolored little higher, like knee high socks. And I'll put these on over my leggings, but I had a couple other pairs here that I wanted to show you. I've just been loving the look. I like having something stick up over my boots. I have really long legs, so I like to break up, you know, the length of my legs with different colors and patterns. So these ones are really cool. I got these at, oh, where did I get these? Rue 21. I think these were like $6. So these are fun. I think there's still a sale going on but is it 30% off their store? I think when I purchased these, they were buy one, get one 50% off. So I had the ones on. I've been loving the ones that I have on right now because they're black, but they have the different colored speckled dots in them. So they kind of go with any look that you have on the upper part of your body. These ones are probably my new favorite ones that I've picked up. It's like a green, a really pretty green shade. I love this color of green but these are really fun to have sticking up over your boots. And like I said, I picked up a couple other, um, other ones from Rue 21 recently. These are more of like a leg warmer kind of thing instead of a sock. This green one is actually a sock. So, you know, whatever. They work as long as you can find a high, either a knee high sock or above the knee sock. I think they're great. I got these at Walmart too, by the way. These are freaking awesome. I got this cream pair with some cable knitting right here. I think these are fun. And then I have some lower boots. 
Um, they just barely go above the ankles and I think booties would look really cute with these kind of, you know, leg warmer, bunchier kind of sock leg warmer things. And then this other pair that I just barely picked up, these are more of like the sweater types, cable knitting kind of fabric. So these are really fun and they keep your legs warm, especially if you're just wearing tights. They're fun for the transition period between fall and winter. Anyway, those are my favorites for November. Let me know if you guys have anything fun that I would love to try out and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!